TTS Technology Egypt Sludge So-called sludge is the deposit of the crude oil and its heavy particles on storage tanks. The sludge causes many problems in the handling of the crude oil, whether it's in pipelines, storage tanks, or in refineries. It leads to blocked pipelines, especially in cold weather, and it also causes blockage of the nozzles of the burners. Petroleum sludge consists of the organic materials, such as paraffin waxes, asphalt, resinous materials, and other materials such as cotton pieces. Beside the organic materials, there are inorganic substances, such as dust, scales, and water. Factors controlling sludge formation in tanks of petroleum. Oxidation. The oxidation process occurs due to the change on the ambient temperature, heating of the crude oils or their heavy fractions during pumping them in the pipelines, especially in winter, or the effect of some oxidized fungi on the organic petroleum compounds. Electrostatic charge. Electrostatic charge formed on pumping the products are electrical charges that lead to the oxidization of petroleum components. Coagulation of the petroleum components with water is another factor leading to the sludge formation. This factor is confirmed by the presence of water in high percentage as emulsion state with sludge. Sediments, sands, dust and scales are other factors leading to the precipitation of the sludge. Water precipitation. The precipitation of water and paraffin wax is also one of the most important factors causing sludge formation. It is well known that the precipitated waxes are very difficult to redissolve from day to night from summer to winter leads to wax separation in sludge form. Volatility. The interruption in the material balance due to the loss of volatile components is another factor that leads to the formation of sludge. Solid components precipitation. Some of the solid components present in crude oil, such as asphalt, resins, and polymeric compounds tend to precipitate, thus they disturb the material balance once again. Problems attributed to sludge deposition in storage tanks. Waste resources. Loss of sludge in trapped hydrocarbons. Reduced holding capacity for the lost storage room because of the lead stock at the bottom. High sediment concentration in the oil located in the lower portion of the tanks, causing troubles in the desalting operation. Sludge interference of the roof floating operation. Drainage plugging. Tank drainage plugging problems. Pump malfunctioning. Increased transfer of pump maintenance due to impeller erosion and blockage in such a manner that it may become a problem. Tanks false measurements. Adapting manual measurements of oil quantities transferred to and from tanks. Quality control can never be achieved with the presence of sludge at the bottom of the tanks, thus causing major problems in oil fields and in trading through custody transfer. Corrosion. The large amount of water entrapped in sludge causes upon proline contact with the metal body of tanks plus bacterial effect, severe corrosion problems. Affected basis of payment, non-homogeneity of stored crude and difficult sampling necessary to determine the net crude volume, which is gross crude volume minus the volume of water and sediment, required as basis of payment. Inoperative mixers, mixers present in tanks containing sludge may be inoperative. Blockage. Probable movement of the sludge due to the variation in temperature may lead to blockage of pipelines or tankers. Old and applied sludge recovery method. Manual and mechanical desludging to remove sludge out of tank. Both methods result in evaporation, which causes air pollution and water contamination. Besides, Sludge is a natural resource that is wasted away. These sludging by heating and application of crude force or electrical mixers, the problem is temporarily solved as sludge just moves from the bottom of the tanks to settle once again in another destination. Dr. Gharib Novel Method Conventional sludge cleaning methods generally requires that the tanks are taken out of service for three to four months. Sludge removal is usually difficult and disposal of sludge causes many environmental problems. 
These considerations, along with the volume of labor required to clean tanks, are a primary reason why routine cleaning tanks problems have never been widely accepted in the industry. The case, as explained, occupied the mind of Dr. Hussein Khalil Gharib, the eminent Egyptian specialist. Concerned with oil industry problems and modernization, Dr. Gharib was the deputy director and board member of the Egyptian Petroleum Research Institute and the founder of TTS. He was a member of several national committees related to the industry and participated in various domestic and international conferences on oil. Dr. Gharib also supervised numerous MSc and PhD theses in the areas petroleum additives, breaking petroleum emulsions in water, dispersing crude oil spills in water, and asphalt emulsions and their applications. Dr. Gharib published more than 35 papers in the same applied areas and headed a number of research teams for development of the industry. He registered three patents in the following areas, testing the efficiency of detergent additives of lube oils, liquefaction of municipal and agricultural refuse, and lube on additives from municipal refuse. His dedicated effort resulted in finally his fourth patent, novel method of recovery of petroleum sludge from crude oil tanks that excelled the old and applied methods in this concern. How the process works. Equipment. The process circuit consists of piping tools, valves, fittings for hooking up generation system to the existing tank nozzles. Regeneration system comprising injection and circulation pump units and heat exchangers. Steam boiler or use of refinery steam where this is feasible. Chemical storage facilities. Mobile workshop. Step by step procedure. The volume of the contents of the storage tanks is reduced to leave a 50-50 mix of sludge and crude oil. 2. A petroleum-based mixture of chemicals is injected, usually at 500 parts per million. 3. Tanks contents are then heated to 50 to 55 degrees Celsius. This enhances the efficiency of the sludge by the batch process layer by layer. Sludge ingredients are basically water, petroleum, and inorganic materials. 4. Water content is separated and drained during treatment. 5. Clay and sand settle down on the bottom of the treated tanks once the tanks are again accessible. 6. Treated sludge rinse as petroleum crude oil containing heavier molecular weight hydrocarbons. To maintain the acceptable specifications, such treated hydrocarbons are transferred through companies' pipelines to other working crude oil tanks were to be resolved in percentages per estimated by company's laboratory. 7. Measuring the volume of the recovered crude oil. TTS chemical, the TTS 750, petroleum-based chemical with pH value of 7, non-aggressive, non-toxic, not affecting any downstream equipment process catalysts, very effective. The value of Dr. Gharib novel method, time saving for the minimum disruption it causes. The average time required for crude oil recovery is six to eight weeks. The tank may be put back into operation within 10 minutes of the end of the cleaning process. Economical and optimal? No crude losses, guaranteed success. Closed circuit system, accordingly, no spill occurs or any poisonous gas evolves. No pollution, as being environmental friendly, the chemicals used are of harmless hydrocarbon origin, as indicated by technical data and material safety sheet. No danger or damage to containing system or downstream refinery equipment. No toxic reactants, products, or fumes. The additive used is homogeneous with any type of crude oil, does not contain any component that might interfere or change the specifications of the these sludge crude oil. TTS application of the novel method. Since October 1985, TTS company founded by Dr. Hussein Khalil Gharib has been applying the novel cleaning method of storage oil tanks based on thermochemical technology. The method has since approved to be very effective 
and acquired a reputation industry-wide. Along the history of the company, more than 130 crude oil tanks and tens of separators in different countries have been completely cleaned. Throughout these operations, more than 3 million barrels of crude oil have been recovered in Egypt, Syria, and Libya. Gas separators and crude oil tankers have also benefited from this method. Skim basins and open pits have also been cleaned and oil has been recovered from them in many sites in Egypt. Storage capacity of the tank clean barrel method range between 10,000 to 100,000 cubic meters fixed or floating roof tanks are easily cleaned barrel method as well. The process can desludge crude oil storage in four to six weeks per tank, depending on the size of the tank and the sludge quantity. In some emergency cases, the tank can be put back into operation within 10 minutes because it is processed while the tank is closed. Gas separators can also be desludged within 72 hours using the same process. Even sludge in pits can be converted to a saleable crude oil. In addition, tanks and skim basins Tens of separators for Petrobel and GUPCO companies were cleaned using our method. True Benefits Petrobel Tanks condition crude oil tanks 15 at Ferran site affiliated to Belgian Petroleum Company, which is second largest petroleum producing company in Egypt after GUPCO. This tank was destroyed during Egyptian Israeli War in 1967. The contents of the tank were burned for four days. More than 20 holes existed in the lower part of the shell as a result of being attacked by big guns. Accordingly, the tank was disconnected from the pipeline network of the company and used as a storage tank for the sludge removed manually from other tanks for many years between 1967 to 1987. The upper part of the tank shell was deformed as a result of the fire Hence, the roof movement to the upward direction was impossible, while it was possible to be displaced to downward direction. Accumulated sludge was approximately about 12,000 meter cube of solid materials due to the long periods, about 20 years. The treatment started by building a specially treated concrete drink around the lower part of the tank to prevent leakage during the treatment process. A closed circuit was built to be used for pumping and heating the required chemicals and the crude used to dissolve the sludge. The heating was accomplished by circulating the crude and injected chemicals through a heat exchanger from which the heat was transferred to the crude and chemical mixture. The elevated temperature in the heat exchanger was built by the continuous passing of the steam generated by a special boiler. The cleaning span was four weeks, about 21,000. 800 tons of oil was recovered. 100% of the hydrocarbons consistent with the accepted specifications of crude oil. The time span of the process was six months through which the crude chemicals and dissolved sludge mixture was tested periodically to assure its consistency with the API specifications. During the span of the operation, 12,000 meter cube of the sludge were recovered and dissolved in the batches of fresh crude oil without changing their API specifications. Al Furat Petroleum Company, Syria. The second selected case was performed in Syria at Al Furat Petroleum Company at Benyaz Terminal. Tank condition the tank was not cleaned for 20 years. About 22,000 tons of sludge were accumulated in the tank. The tank was considered a hopeless case for Al Furat Petroleum Company. The sludging service provided by TTS. Hydrocarbons recovery from sludge service presented by TTS Company includes supply of chemicals, insulation of skid mounted recirculation and heating equipment, operation of the equipment and the chemical injection, advice on oil movement recovered by de sludging. Clearing the job site upon finishing the mission. Simple requirements from client requesting desludging. The client requesting desludging is required to make the tanks available, operate the valves to drain water from the tank, operate the valves and pumps to export the recovered hydrocarbons from the tank, 
import the required fresh crude oil into the tank in an amount equal to that of the remaining sludge, drain water and oil movements within one day of the request, provide electric, fresh water and diesel supply. NB, in case of open pits, tankers, separators, etc., the same is required from the client for desludging process. Petroleum companies use their methods 